What's up guys and welcome back to another video. It's your girl Faith Martini and in today's video we are going to be doing some self-care, a little bit of cleaning and meal prep. To get started we are actually going to get started by doing uh, meal prep and I'm actually going to be preparing a few things today. Um, I'm baking a banana bread right now. I um, have been looking for different breakfast ideas for my kids because they have become a lot more pickier so uh, now um you know it's kind of like I, I just have to find different things that they can eat so that they can actually get some nutrients in so i wanted to kind of bake some banana bread that they can eat um in the morning uh, for their breakfast and I found this recipe on Pinterest. I'm gonna link it down below for you if you're interested in getting uh, Making this as well and you can be able to try it. I really like it. It turned out pretty good So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare that Now this recipe actually calls for granulated sugar, but I ended up using um, brown sugar, which actually turned out pretty good as well. And then, <laughs> funny thing here is I completely forgot about the egg. So you will notice um, that I go through the whole process and I put this in the oven and then I see the egg and then I remember <laughs> that I didn't put the egg in. So I had to redo it again and add the egg. <laughs>
And now that the banana bread is in the oven the right way, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get started with a few more things. I am going to be roasting some vegetables. So I am going to start go ahead and get started by cutting up some uh, carrots and roasting this. And then I'm also going to cut up some potatoes as well. And with this, I'm just going to season them with salt, pepper, and olive oil and that's pretty much what i use for all of my um seasoning usually i don't really use a lot of things i don't think i need to use a lot of things but uh that's pretty much what i go my go-to i guess in terms of seasoning so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and place those in the oven You know how you buy food and you forget that you had it? <laughs> That's what I did with my sweet potatoes. I bought quite a few and I completely forgot about them. Some of them were actually starting to grow, um, whatever you call this. <laughs> Is it stems or what? whatever you call that? Um, and so... I realized I need to actually uh, cook this. There were some that were bad that I threw away, but um, I had others that were still in good shape um, and I didn't want to waste them, so I prepared them. Now that that is in the oven, both my potatoes and my carrots are in the oven, I'm going to start preparing my second meal, which is going to be just brown rice and uh, black beans. And I like this. It is such a simple meal but i love it because it's simple and it's still delicious and i want to incorporate a meatless monday um you know with my family so i want to see how we can kind of the different foods that we can eat on that day and this is one of them now <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you like to have different food, different themed days. If you do Meatless Monday, Taco Tuesday or whatever, um, I would love to know that in the comments. And by the way, if you are new to this channel, hello and welcome. My name is Faith Martini and I am a single mom to twin boys, Hodari and Milambu. On this channel, I post content on motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning and baby. My goal is to motivate you and inspire you to be the best mom that you can possibly be and to win at this thing called motherhood single motherhood uh, despite it all and that is what I aim to do as well in my life so if you like the kind of content that I post here if you like what you see be sure to hit that subscribe button for more content and if you are enjoying this leave me a like and a comment down below And by this time, my banana bread was done. So I did the toothpick taste and it came out clean. It, um, it looks so good. <laughs> so you know, I know you're supposed to like wait until it cools down before you eat it. But I am, I was hungry, first of all. And then secondly, I am so impatient. So I just had to take a bite to see how good it was. And it was yummy. Okay, I ended up eating a little bit more than a bite. But who's judging, okay? Who's judging? judging nobody's judging nobody's watching it's okay the kids will still have some to eat tomorrow so <laughs> but no it was good it was really good i definitely recommend that you try this recipe as i mentioned before it's going to be in the description box so be sure to check that out <laughs> To this top top i am going to be adding uh royco which is just a beef seasoning uh it's a kenyan seasoning um we pretty much add it to anything that has soup uh, to add more flavor but i'm just adding that and then i'm also going to be adding salt and with my beans i usually just rinse them off because they are canned beans so i just rinse them off and then i add them in there as well and then i just place um i add some water and i allow this to just uh, 
stayed on the stove for quite a bit until the until the beans start to get a little um, softer. Uh, that's when I will take it off. Since I took off the uh, carrots and the banana bread from the oven, I have some room. And so I'm going to be adding uh, meatballs. I love the meatballs from uh, Ikea, uh, but I also really like to kind of bake them or broil them for a bit until they get a little bit crunchy. It tastes so good when it's, that, when it's crunchy. So I will usually just add olive oil to this and then I just place them in the oven um, and just let them either broil or bake for a few minutes and oh it tastes so good especially with the little uh, cranberry sauce oh my gosh <laughs> it's so good <laughs> and with the power of editing that only took a second to broil <laughs> but everything is done at this point so I'm just going to be putting them in the containers. Um, I usually like to freeze some of my foods and then others, if I'm going to be eating them within the next few days, I'll just place them in the freezer, uh, in the fridge rather. Um, and I just like this because uh, if I'm not, if I'm now I'm not gonna eat that item that I'm, I know I can just freeze it and it still stays in good condition. Um, I just have to take it out at the beginning of the day and allow it to defrost before it's time for me to eat it. But do you like to eat freezer foods as well? Do you meal prep? Do you, you know, prepare freezer meals? Let me know in the comments because I love meal prepping. It is so beneficial, especially since I'm a single mom and my kids are keeping me really busy. It's so beneficial for me to actually do it. So I really, really enjoy meal prepping. And lastly, I'm going to just cut up this pineapple and uh, cut up some onions that I I like to use onions almost every day. So I just want to prepare them ahead of time so that I don't have to worry about chopping them up and crying over onions uh, throughout the week. Um, so that uh, that's already set. <music> And then next up, I wanted to quickly reorganize my play area. I have this uh, cube storage that I use to store the shoes that I, <laughs> my heels that I used to wear that I haven't worn in a while now. Um, and so I decided that I was just going to bring that out here and use that to store some of my toys and get rid of the other system that I currently have. I thought this would work, guys, but it did not work well as I thought it would. But you're going to see that here in just a moment.
Now guys, the walls in this area are terrible because my kids have been playing around in this area and of course they touch the wall with their wet hands and whatnot. Um, I wanted to clean this up today but it is really really late and I'm tired so I just wanted to get this done so that I can go do my self-care and go to sleep but um, I am going to be doing another video where I think I'll just have to paint this because I am not gonna I, I don't know I, it's just I showed you a video before of me cleaning it and it just doesn't come out very well um, I will try out some of the tips that I received from that video before I can actually paint it but that's my last result at this point and then I also need to clean the baseboards which I wasn't able to do on this video but I'll be doing that in uh, another video just today was just not the day I was so tired I just I had to just get this done before my kids you know were up because it's actually at night time right now um, so I wanted to just get it done while they were sleeping so that I didn't have any interruptions uh, while I was trying to get it done <music> I bought this storage bins from Walmart and I was so excited <laughs> I didn't even consider the size I thought it was gonna fit in here but it didn't fit and yeah uh, <laughs> that was a disappointment okay like <laughs> so now I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to use this but I think um, I have another cube storage so I'm gonna see if they actually fit in there if they don't then I don't know I might have to return them that or see how else I can use them in the house but um, I ended up just adding the toys to the organizer um, I decided not to put back the little form um, form letters whatever you call them and uh, just leave the floor bare uh, because I wanted to see how it's gonna be the boys have been taking them out the letters out and they're eating them <laughs> so. <laughs> so <laughs> I would rather <laughs> they don't eat those they actually just eat the food that I make for them so I'm gonna just take it out for now and then um, let's we'll see how this area is you know the last time that I showed you guys a video on this play area I was thinking about adding gates again but I don't think I'm gonna do the gates again I feel like we are way past that they're at an age right now where they will not be restrained they will not be controlled so I'm just gonna allow them to play freely around this area um, and just figure out a different way to still kind of keep it intact <laughs> And finally, moving on to the self-care part of this video. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know I look crazy. <laughs> my face. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. And usually when I get out of the shower, my skin dries pretty fast, especially my face. That's why it looks really ashy, okay? <laughs> just ignore it for a little bit. I am just showing you what I do with my hair. I usually will wash my hair on Sundays and after I wash my hair I just apply uh, the Cantu deep conditioner um, in it and then I just apply that thoroughly and I make sure that it's distributed all over my hair and no I am not naked I do have a towel on and then next I will use the Cantu moisturizing twist and lock gel and I just kind of apply this all over my hair and I I'm usually pretty generous with this I do some sort of a twist to my hair with this but I don't make the twist very intact uh, and then after I will just place my turban on and allow my hair to dry um, I usually will just sleep with my hair like this and when I wake up in the morning it's usually pretty pretty nice 
um, and ready to go and I just have to comb it out. And then next, I'm going to do a bit of a skincare routine. Now, I am still working on developing my skincare routine, but I've bought some uh, a few products that I feel like will kind of help me here. And one of those was this uh, Nano Steamer. It is a uh, facial steamer um, that really helps with um, making your face sweat and opening up your pores and whatnot uh, so i'm really excited about starting to use this i'm going to link all of the items that i use in the description box for you just in case you're interested so you can be able to check them out from there um so i just usually place this on and i allow the steam to start coming in and i just place my face on there um it i love 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 using this because it does do a good job of opening up the pores and it just it's very relaxing so um, I definitely have been enjoying using it once my face is moist I will then start to actually shave it and I bought this um, eyebrow shavers from uh, TJ Maxx so I'm gonna go ahead and just do that and I shave pretty much my whole face and then I also kind of uh, shape my eyebrow as well And this is how my face looks like after I shave it and then after I have been in the steam for quite some time. Uh, I haven't applied any products just yet, but I'm going to do that right now. First, I'm going to be using my toner and I'm just going to wipe off any impurities uh, and any stray hairs from the shaving. And then I'm going to be uh, using this mud clay as a facial. I bought this a while ago and I think I bought it from TJ Maxx. Um, and so I just place this on my face and then I uh, allow it to stay there for about 15 minutes. I also add this um, eye uh, masks and I also think I bought those from um, TJ Maxx as well. And I place them uh, under my eyes for the same amount of time. Once I wash the face mask on off, then I will uh, use my toner again so that I can be able to remove any, um, you know, excess or any residue that may remain after the wash. And then after I do that, I will apply my serums for the night. And I have four serums that I go through uh, for the night. I like to do the retinol and the true skin vitamin C um, serums. And so I just apply those. And I like to use my jade roller. Uh, I bought this one from TJ Maxx and I really love it. Um, it has quite a few benefits actually, uh, some of which are that it actually helps with circulation. It helps reduce inflammation. Um, it improves elasticity for your skin and it also just helps release relieve tension so I really um, love that and I'm I actually just recently started using it so I haven't seen the results just yet but I'm hoping that as I continue to do it it's gonna I'm gonna start seeing some results as I mentioned before I am working on developing a skincare routine that will be able to help me maintain a healthy and beautiful looking skin and lastly, I will apply Vaseline on my lips and then I also apply the L'Oreal Revitalift uh, Night Cream because I'm going to be um, 
putting this on for the night and that is pretty much it for my skincare but guys if you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave me a like and a comment down below if you're not subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button right now so that you can stay tuned for more videos and i will be seeing you on the next video thank you so much for watching and have a great day Thank you.